What's up, guys? Zach Scott here ben, with Ashley Scott please. playing Walking Dead the Game. Here, here we go. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. Truth. What about the other kid? No, oh, what the what the crap? <laughs> what? The, uh, Q, 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 Q. So this is where they see that even somebody who hasn't been. Oh bitten. wait, I got bitten. I am dead. Click to continue. Q, 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 Q. Uh, e. Q, 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 E. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah. Someone give me the shit, it's stuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do my best. Kick him in the balls. Oh yeah, S. Okay, here I go. What? <laughs> uh, let me try that again, I guess. Move, move. Let me it back up fast Shit, enough. Nope. Kick him in the face. Yep, I'm gonna back up. Oh, oh dang. Oh god. Yes. Q, 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 No, 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 no. Oh, okay, thank you. Now she saved my life, now we're even. Dang it. Okay, gun. Yeah, thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Jesus. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What?! Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills, a lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and god. Back off. Whoa, lady, relax. Uh, me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Oh, God. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother, Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Well, Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Oh dear, that sounds delicious. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, I would be what do y'all think? To go with them. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. 
We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. You're and with the vegetables we up. grow, we got plenty of food. Lots of vegetable food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does oh, anyone else? Forget about the past. Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Hopefully Lee I showed get up the when boner. he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Lily. She runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people you got over there anyway? Who they're asking to change the subject. They're asking too many well, questions. Well, the kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well... Here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. <laughs> These guys are so creepy. The dairy yeah, for, well, as long weird. as I can remember, but uh, now it's. You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Uh oh. Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. And are. you guys were keeping it up. There's only two of them. Oh no, there's more. Yeah, and you know what? More we ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! Oh, oh. <gasps> Jesus. <laughs> Fuck you! Jesus! <laughs> Asshole! <laughs> oh god. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. My god. Let's go search his body. Just kidding. Oh, he's gonna turn into a zombie! Don't forget! Shoot his yeah. brain! Wait, did he shoot his brain? Well, I, they, I don't know if they saw her for sure or not. I think, they, I think he shot him in the head, I hope. He shot him several times. Could have been in the head. All right. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Nice. Very nice, but are they cannibals? Y'all can see how we kept this place <laughs> so safe. Dang. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. <laughs> Look who's coming for dinner. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company <laughs> coming down the drive. Guys, well, this hi, is our I'm Brenda St. John and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. <laughs> oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh yeah, uh, 
I thought she was asking about survival tactics. <laughs> it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe. <laughs> I'm, I'm a pretty big liar in this game. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Oh, dang. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. Shut up. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go idiot. get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. Oh god, It'll this sounds awesome. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Oh my word. I hope those this two don't crazy. have Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? I want to have Once you get there. settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. All right. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play <laughs> the cards right, that fence. this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Oh man, Before that fence. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And well, like the, the fence. fence perimeter <laughs> sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Oh, that's All true. Right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Good Don't idea. split up. Yeah. Stay together. <laughs> and this is where I get fried on the fence. Okay, well, guys, I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. I'm going to keep pumping out these episodes, so come back next time for more Walking Dead the Game. Goodbye.